In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Jira versions effectively and efficiently. If you're involved in managing software development or any kind of project working under the Agile framework, knowing how to work with Jira versions can significantly enhance your control over the development process and streamline your project management tasks. Let's jump right in and start by navigating to the Your Work section in Jira. This is the gateway to all your ongoing projects and tasks. By accessing this page, you'll be able to see a customized list of issues and projects relevant to you. It's essentially your personal dashboard. Once you're there, you'll need to select the project you're working on. In the context of project management, choosing the correct project is crucial as it ensures you're working on the right set of tasks and issues specific to your current workflow. The next step involves interacting with the issues button. This button provides a list of all recorded issues for your project in Jira. Issues can be tasks, bugs, story points, or any deliverable that needs attention. They are the building blocks of any project, helping track everything from small tasks to significant improvements. Clicking on issues gives a comprehensive overview of all the elements that your team is currently working on. It's like having a detailed inventory of your project's workflow to see where everything stands. This view is essential, especially when coordinating among team members. From here, you'll want to select a specific issue that you're interested in working on. You can do this by scrolling through your list of issues and finding the one that suits your current focus. Once you find the specific issue, you need to enter into its details view. Here, you'll find various fields, options, and metadata related to the issue. This includes information such as who created it, any attachments, the priority status and discussion notes, among others. The next field we're interested in is fix versions. You'll find this on the right hand side once you've clicked on an issue and scrolled through the details. The fix versions field is pivotal in Jira as it connects releases and ongoing tasks, providing a mechanism to tag or associate specific versions of your software with individual issues. This makes it easier to track which issues have been resolved in which release. By integrating fixed versions, you ensure that your work is associated with the correct product update or release version, bringing more structure and clarity in terms of delivery timelines. Once you're in the fixed versions area, you will observe a list initially showing none if no version is set. This indicates that no release version has been set for the issue at hand. Click on none and a drop down menu will appear with available versions to choose from. For instance, you might see versions labeled as 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, or similar, depending on how versions are set up within your project framework. Select the version which corresponds to your current project phase or round of updates. This part of the process is vital since it keeps your project records tidy and aligned with the overall release milestone. Keep in mind that selecting the correct version ensures your team knows precisely which tasks correspond to each phase of the project lifecycle, paving the way for a smoother release process. One key aspect to remember during this process is that selecting a version doesn't just inform other team members of the timeline, but it also updates any associated workflows or automated rules tied with these version updates in your Jira setup. It might trigger notifications, update dashboards, or even alter the progression of the accompanying tasks, depending on how you or your administrator have configured the Jira project. By being detail-oriented and conscientious when setting these versions, you ensure clarity and communication within your team is maintained. It enables the entire team to have a periscope view of the project's progress and where any particular issue stands in relation to the release timeline. With those steps completed, you're now equipped with a deeper understanding of how to effectively use Jira versions in your workflow. This not only streamlines your project management process, but also significantly improves traceability and accountability in the software development cycle. If you're keen on further exploration, consider looking into how Jira integrates with other tools your team might be using and how automation rules can enhance your overall productivity. Keep experimenting with Jira's robust features. You'll discover that it can adapt flexibly to suit the unique needs of your team and project dynamics. Thank you for joining today's tutorial on using Jira versions, and I wish you the best in optimizing your project management practices. Stay tuned for future videos where we continue to explore the exciting features and capabilities of Jira.